fear of the virus, fear of the restrictions, fear of uh, the future, uh, what it will hold, fear of the mandates that are being enacted, fear of uncertain outcomes soon upon us, fear of uh, the outcome of the elections. That attitude generates weakness and defeat in the experience of spiritual things. God is greater than whatever will come upon us in this world. Things that take the place of Christ in our field of vision, things that occupy our mind more than Christ, and they drive away the joy of the Lord. And in essence, they really drive away our strength. So it's not like he was going through a happy, joyful time. He was going through a deadly trial. And this is where he looked. The joy of the Lord is, is, is a multifaceted thing. It makes a huge difference, brothers and sisters. We need more earthquakes, not physical earthquakes, but we need more earthquakes in the spiritual realm. Are we remembering that this is a spiritual weapon? This is not just here, this is something to have fun with, something to enjoy life with. No, it's actually a serious and practical weapon. There's actually very little that brings joy, especially if you're watching the news, you follow the, you know, on the internet, the, the latest headlines, what's going on. In the scriptures, there are many, many instructions and injunctions to be joyful. Hundreds and hundreds of verses. Joy in Jesus. Happy Thanksgiving.